Welcome aboard. Justin here from Swift Silent Deadly. Today I'm bringing you another carbine drill. This is the CSAT rifle standards. Uh, you saw the CSAT pistol standards last week, I believe. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the CSAT rifle instructor standards. CSAT, again, in case you missed the last video, is the uh, combat skills and tactics, the training company owned by Paul Howe. Uh, Paul Howe is a former Delta Force Master Sergeant, veteran of an entire career in special operations, but uh, very notably the, the battle that everyone knows about, the, the Battle of Mogadishu, the Battle of the Black Sea, uh, as depicted in Black Hawk Down. Um, Paul Howe is a very well-respected firearms trainer, the author of The CSAT Way, which is a, a phenomenally good book, also the author of Leadership and Training for the Fight, and I think one more book, but I haven't read it. Really recommend you read Paul's books. They are very, very good. So the rifle standards, the CSAT rifle standards are fired on two targets. So we need two uh, CSAT targets. Uh, they're specific targets to made for Paul Howe. And they look a lot like a USPSA target, uh, but without any separation between the A zone and the head box. So it's just, uh, you got one long vertical rectangle. Uh, I did not have that. I have IDPA silhouettes. It's a, it's a big lift for me to order targets uh, for a specific drill because typically you have to order in pretty decent quantities and you know, a couple bucks a target, 25 CSAT targets was going to run me almost $50. Um, so I decided to make my own. I printed off USPSA A zone targets from concealedcarry.com. They do have printable A zones, folded them to the correct dimensions, and pasted them up uh, directly below the head box. So they merged with the head box on my IDPA targets. Now, the unfair advantage that, that gives me is I can clearly see where that A zone or down zero zone, where the hit zone is, because nothing else, there's no graded scoring, nothing else on the target counts. You either hit in that box or it's a or it's a complete miss. So it does give me a little bit of an unfair advantage because very clearly able to see that A zone, that hit zone. Now we need two of these. There are stages that shoot multiple target engagements. So we need two of these. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the course of the into the course of fire like the pistol standards uh the first i think six stages most of this is fired at the seven yard line we need a total of 37 rounds unlike the pistol standards which i believe only took 25 we do need to have a pistol on us and we need to have one at least one round of ammunition in that pistol there is a stage where that will come into play we also need a sling on our rifle we're gonna have to transition at some point uh, and a way to reload the rifle let's go ahead and get into the drill so stage one at the seven yard line I'm going to begin at the low ready. For me, low ready is just off the target, able to look over the optic with the muzzle of the gun not covering meat on the target. So either between that individual's feet or just below, uh, That's that allows me to see the hands, that allows me to see what's going on, it prevents me from putting my muzzle on that person. Uh, so I'm not dipping down into a way low ready like I'm about to clear a corner or something like that. Just breaking the muzzle down below the feet. On the buzzer, Stage one, seven yards on the buzzer. I'm going to snap the rifle up and fire one shot in one second. My time on this was 0 0.68 seconds uh, or seven tenths of a second, which is also one one hundredth of a second uh, faster than my pistol time. So barely faster than my pistol time. So stage two, again at the seven yard line on the buzzer from the low ready, I'm going to snap up and fire two rounds in a time limit of 1.5 seconds. My time was 1.11 seconds, a passing score. Both my shots are in, so let's move on to stage three. Stage three, I had a procedural error, and I don't know why. So on stage three, the instructions are from the low ready, seven yards, on the buzzer, fire two to the body and one to the head. I fired one to the body, so I'm gonna consider myself a fail at this stage. Like the pistol standards, you must pass eight of 10 of these stages to, to qualify. This was my only failing stage and it was because of that procedural error. My time was 1.38 seconds out of 1.7. So I had plenty of time to get that second shot off. And that is my only failing stage. So moving on to stage four. Stage four, we get into that rapid fire string of fire. On the buzzer, we're gonna snap up. We're gonna fire five rounds to the body and one round to the head in a time limit of three seconds. I was able to make all my shots at seven yards, your barrel sight relation is, or your height over bore, whatever you want to call it, 
not quite as big a factor as it would be at three or five yards or maybe even at contact distance, but it is still a factor. You still have to know that holdover because it is still in play at seven yards. My time on this was 2.79 seconds, and you may notice I went from the high ready. One thing I like about this drill, it does not specify low ready or high ready. I tend to like that because it lets you work with the tactics that you have trained in or that your organization dictates that you use or whatever the case may be. So I tried to vary a couple of times, uh, work some high readies and low readies in. So this one I shot from a high ready uh, position. Stage five is our first multiple target engagement drill. Seven yards on the buzzer, we're going to fire two, tar two shots on target one, transition to target two, and fire two more shots on target two in a total time of three seconds. My time was 2.11 seconds. I made this happen, and both of those uh, shots were good to go. Let's go ahead and move on to stage six. At the seven yard line, this is our last stage at the seven yard line on the buzzer. We're gonna bring the rifle up and we're gonna fire one shot. At that point, we're gonna transition to the pistol and fire one shot from the pistol in a total time of 3.25 seconds. Both of those must hit. You have to make an effective hit with both the rifle and the pistol. I did this in 3.04 seconds, getting close to the total time there, but still within the time. Now, let's go ahead and move back to the 100 yard line. So now we're back at the 100 yard line and we will be moving in for the next four stages. For stages seven, eight, nine, and 10, they're fired at the 100, the 75, the 50, and the 25, which is one thing I appreciate about this drill is it's not just a, you know, a, a 10 yard and end drill. This works the range, a little bit of the range of the rifle. At the 100 yard line, we are going to fire five rounds from the prone position in a time limit of 20 seconds. Now it was unclear uh, whether you begin this stage in the prone or you start it standing and drop to the prone and assume the prone, that's part of your 20 seconds. I began in the prone and I began in the kneeling at the 50 and 75. Anyway, it is what it is. You'll notice as I'm taking these shots, I'm using good natural point of aim. So I found my natural point of aim and basically what that is, if you're unfamiliar, as I'm walking down to the range here, shot this in 19.73, by the way, but as we're walking down to the target, so a natural point of aim means I'm going to get in that good position where when I close my eyes, take a breath and let it out, open my eyes. When the sights settle, that sight is already on the target. That is finding your natural point of aim. So I'm squeezing that shot, taking another breath, letting the sight settle back onto the target and taking another shot. And you'll notice all five of my shots were well inside that hit zone. I already had three shots on there, which I showed you before I walked down. Uh, so those are, that's a, I, I'm very, very happy with that at 100 yards. Now we're gonna move back to the 75 yard. So we have the same time standard, we have the same accuracy standard, we have the same round count. So on this stage, we shoot from the kneeling rather than the prone. Now, again, I assume my kneeling position prior to, um, prior to hitting the timer. You will notice that the timer did not record my times. However, when I stood up and showed the camera the timer, it was still at around 18 seconds and counting upward. So I was within the 20 second time standard. And as we walk down, we see that all my shots were in. I assumed a good low kneeling sitting on my foot. Um, it didn't specify low kneeling, high kneeling. So I took the most stable position. In there. All my shots are in. Let's move One, back two, to the three, 50 four, yard five, line. Six. At the 50 yard line, we're going to do the same thing we did at the 75 yard line. That is five shots from a kneeling position in 20 seconds. Again, I went ahead and assumed the kneeling position and go. My time on this, I squeaked it out in just under half the time in 9.32 seconds. Uh, it's a good time. Let's walk down and take a look at my hits. Finally, to finish this up, we go to the 25 yard line. So the 25 yard line, we are firing five rounds from a standing position, this time in a total time of eight seconds. I certainly made the accuracy. The time I assumed that I made, and I, I, I did, I looked at it, I, I looked at the video timestamps. Uh, I made it in under seven seconds. I don't know exactly what my time was, but I was a, a, a pass at the station and all my shots were accurate. Let's walk down and take a look at those targets and all my shots are in. I've got 37 rounds in there, one pistol shot. 
excuse me, 36 rounds because I did not fire one of those rounds, which is really a bummer. That was um, that was stage three. I failed to fire two body shots. I fired one body, one head instead of two body, uh, one head. Very, very good drill. I like working at 175, 50, 25 with the rifle, getting out into uh, meaningful rifle distances, but also working CQB distance with a rifle, which can also be pretty easy to neglect. Rifle is a really versatile tool, and being able to use it in that spectrum of distance is pretty important. Being able to, being able to deliver really accurate fire at 100 yards is, you know, maybe some something that some of us CQB oriented folks kind of neglect to practice sometimes, or, uh, you know, shooting at uh, failure drills at seven yards, maybe something that you long range guys forget to practice sometimes. So this is a quality drill that practice that demonstrates a little bit of everything or forces you to work a little bit of everything. Now, with that said, I also shot a second iteration of this with my Strybog SP nine, a three. Unfortunately, uh, I'll put up some bloopers here. I could not get the shot timer to record my shots with that thing silenced. It's very, very quiet. So I, I just shot it for S's and G's. So in my first six stages, those stages from zero to seven yard lines, I only got one time and that was the pistol transition. I believe it was 2.34 seconds. And I dropped one round completely outside of that A zone. I had a couple breaking the line, but I dropped one completely out. So in those first six stages, I dropped one. Theoretically, I could fail one more stage and pass, um, but that didn't happen. So let's move back to the 100 yard line and watch my shots here. Now, this is pretty much just a screw around drill. My shots back here at 100 yards um, didn't even touch the cardboard. So I've got some work to do. I, I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm using a different ammunition than I initially zeroed this optic with. Uh, but I, still, I'm completely missing the cardboard. That's uh, I, I'm not comfortable with that. Uh, so this is not a certainly not a 100 yard gun for me right now. I, I, and I don't know what in the world I would use it at 100 yards for. But um, this is. It's kind of a capability uh, fact-finding exercise for me too, right? Find out what I can do with this little nine millimeter carbine. So at the 75, um, I also dropped some shots. I think I had three on the cardboard. So then once we got to the 50, I, I was getting them mostly on the paper. And then up there from the 25 yard line, that was, that was a good stage of fire. Um, but uh, again, just a fun run, just to show you something different, shooting a true rifle qualification with a little nine millimeter PCC a short barreled rifle at that suppressed fun. Um, I, and I, hell it taught me something. I learned that this is not a hundred yard gun. And if I expect it to be, I've certainly got some work to do. I've certainly need to spend some more time with it and figure out exactly what, where my points of aim and holdovers and all that are at hundred yards. That's, that's probably pretty important to know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This has been the CSAT standards rifle incredibly good course of fire works the rifle from a hundred to seven yards, not necessarily in that order. It works multiple shot engagements, multiple target drills, failure drills. You have to know your barrel sight relation, your, your height over bore, your holdover, whatever you want to call it. Transition to the pistol. A lot of stuff we don't see and stuff that's typically just oriented toward home defenders or concealed carrier. You know, sometimes people badmouth stuff that is not something that you can clearly show a need for concealed carrier to use. I don't think it's bad to master your gun and your ammunition and, you know, all the skills you can do with it to know how to do those things. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with having mastery of your firearms. Anyway, that's the CSAT standards with rifle and with PCC, mostly with the rifle. <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. If you're a patron, man, Thank you so much. It means the world to me. I cannot say it enough. Uh, I know I'm beating that dead horse, but man, I absolutely mean it. If you're not a patron, please consider becoming one. Five bucks a month goes a heck of a long way toward paying for website hosting, domain ownership, website security, uh, Vimeo membership. So if my stuff gets pulled from YouTube, it's still housed somewhere. For paying for ammo, for paying for targets, uh, any of this stuff helps guys. I sincerely appreciate it. And at any rate, thanks for watching. Share this content with somebody who, uh, who needs it. And most importantly, get to the range and shoot some of these drills until next time. Stay dangerous.